currently have the boys watching a little show. I put on a Halloween themed Mickey Mouse episode. They're very enthralled. Today is October 1st. I went and saw Grayson for the first time this morning and he was like, oh, it's the first day of October, it's spooky season. And he's like so into the day and I feel bad. Like I don't have anything really planned for today, um, but he's like making it a big deal. So I'm trying to make it a big deal. So I was like, I'm gonna put on a a Halloween episode for you and they were very impressed thought that was really cool but unfortunately Anthony is gone all day today he went to the Renaissance Festival he goes every year with his friends I have zero desire to ever go to that but he goes every year it sounds like it's the same thing every year so not sure the appeal of it but I think they like to go and have some drinks and see some shows I think I don't know so anyway, I'm home with the kids all day today by myself. So kind of a bummer. <clears throat> I'm hoping to go sometime soon to the Halloween store. I got Avery's costume. I had it ordered in the mail because her size, they didn't have it at the store. But we need to go and get the boys costumes. And I'd love to go today. Like that would be something cool to do like on the first day of October. But it's going to be really hard to go with just me and all three kids. And the other problem I have is I have two coupons for the boys' costumes for like 20% off one item. But I think you have to, I think you can't use both coupons at the same time. So I would basically have to like go buy one costume and then like come back or go to a different store and buy the second costume. Which I guess I could do. It's just like a lot of hassle. So I don't know when I'm going to be able to do that. If Anthony was home, I'd have us all go today, but he's not here. So not sure if we'll um, do something like that today, but it is Sunday. Um, yesterday was a super busy day. I meant to vlog a lot more, but honestly, I was so busy. I didn't even have time to think. Avery turned six months old. And so we got some um, pictures documenting that she's officially half a year old now. I cannot believe that. Both boys had soccer games, so I took a couple clips of those. I'll input those here. Both did really great. Porter is an awesome little soccer star. He loves soccer. He kicks the ball so far down the field. He's honestly one of the best kids on his team. And I'm not saying that lightly because I'm very truthful about Grayson's soccer ability, but Porter actually 
does pretty well. So Porter did really well, and then Grayson had a game. He did okay, um, didn't score any goals. He did try a couple times, which was good. Um, and they beat their team. The other team didn't even score. I think it ended up being like four to zero. I don't think they really keep track, like keep score, but the kids do. Um, so that was good. And then we actually headed out to Cincinnati because my brother proposed to his longtime girlfriend and asked her to marry him. And so we were all there to surprise her for the engagement. So we all went to some park, Alt Park. If you're in Cincinnati, I guess you know where that is. It was super pretty. The only problem with it is I guess it was like homecoming. So the park was like packed with people i mean just people everywhere getting homecoming pictures plus there was a wedding there too and i think there were just like people doing like family photos and all different stuff like that so it was busy at the park um but my brother was able to propose he proposed like under this pergola it was really pretty we got some pictures of it so i'll input those here Um, the kids actually did really well. Poor Avery had the hardest time. She took a very short nap in the car. She really doesn't take good naps unless she's in her crib. And so she was fussy because she hadn't been sleeping well. And then after the um, proposal at the park, we went to a dinner. My mom rented out like a private room at a restaurant. So we had it all to ourselves, had an open bar and they just like brought out like family style dishes. It was actually really cool. I think I took a couple clips of that. So I'll input that here. Um, fancy super nice the boys did amazing they did so well um, I did have to bring out the iPad at one point but other than that they did really good um, it, the only problem was Avery she just was so tired and couldn't get comfortable couldn't sleep so she, Anthony and I basically had to take turns just like rocking her back and forth trying to get her to sleep and then we try to like transfer her to the stroller because we brought like our stroller try to keep her like asleep in the stroller she wouldn't do it so that was the hardest part was just Avery wasn't having it but other than that like it was awesome uh, my brother's girlfriend was so surprised she had no idea it was coming and my brother is very glad that the proposal is over and done and so now we get to do some wedding planning so that will be fun no idea when they're going to get it married i think they want kind of a longer engagement so i guess we will see but super excited for them they've been together for so long it feels like his girlfriend's already part of the family my kids love her so super happy for them and glad we could be there it was uh, a long day though i mean we didn't get home last night until i think 10 p.m like all the kids have fallen asleep in the car because um, we were just at the dinner so late and then it's two hours away so it was a long day so today i think it's going to be a little more chill which i have hard time with chill days because i just get a little antsy and bored but i do need to do some cleaning mopping um tidying up the house different things like that if we end up going to the store and i like brave it or maybe i could like goad my mom into coming with us then i will vlog that but um other than that it's supposed to be like 80s for the next couple days which is not what you think october would be in ohio so we'll definitely go outside and play a little bit as it warms up it's a little chilly right now i think it's 50s or 60s 63 but it's gonna get up to 82. so once it gets a little warmer we'll go outside and do some sidewalk shock and play a little bit maybe we could go to the park maybe in between avery's naps um, like I said, she doesn't really nap well other than in her crib, so it makes going out 
hard to do because I have to fit it in like her wake window, which is only like an hour and a half. <laughs> Yeah, I will just keep you guys updated with what we do today. Hopefully the day goes fast because Anthony's gone and I want him home <laughs> already. Yeah, I don't think we have too much coming up this week, just like a regular October week. I guess I don't know how to end this clip, but you guys know I'll, I'll just pull the camera out here and there. We made it to the Halloween store. So we're back from the Halloween store, and what costumes did you guys get? Mario and Luigi. Mario and Luigi. Hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. What? You be. You be Bowser. You be Mario, and I be Luigi. All right, I'm Bowser. Who's Daddy? Who Toad. is Daddy gonna be? Oh, Toad. What do you guys think? So we were successful. My mom ended up meeting us out at the Spirit Halloween store and we found both the boys' sizes, no problem. I took a couple clips, which I'm sure you guys saw of us at the Spirit Halloween store. Gray was not scared Mommy, by like the I'm animatronics, but Porter wanted Mommy, nothing to do with them. Talking. He was terrified, terrified, terrified. Avery's having some cereal. Avery, if you guys couldn't figure out, she's gonna be Princess Peach. I already bought her costume. I had to get it online because they didn't have her size at the Halloween store. But we've what? got Mario, we've got Luigi, and we've got Princess Peach. How fitting because the boys love watching people play Mario games. They love Luigi's Mansion. So this was perfect for them. So all in all, it was such a success. It was so fun. Don't mind me. I'm just sitting on the floor feeding my baby some cereal, some oatmeal. Um, but the boys loved it. Um, Porter could have done without the Halloween store, but Gray loved it. And we saw lots of different costumes. So super fun to see like what's on trend this year. And lots of Mario costumes because you know the movie came out this year. So super fun. Glad we found the costumes. They were way cheaper. Last year I got Disney ones. They were, if you don't remember, they were Winnie the Pooh and Tigger. And their costumes were like 50 bucks each. This time they were like 30 bucks, but then we had a 20% off coupon, so it was much more affordable. Also, my mom went all out. I told her, like, it's October 1st. I guess parents nowadays are doing, like, boo bags for their kids on October 1st. I did not know this. I did not do this. Feeling like a bad mom. So mom went to tar my mom went to Target and bought a bunch of stuff, spoiled the kids. So she got them some Halloween cotton candy. I want which cotton is candy. I okay, want eat that. your dinner, and then you can have some cotton candy. And she got each of the kids these, I guess these were in like the dollar section, these cute little Halloween buckets. And then she filled them with like some window clings. I guess these light up. Cute. And um, also she got each of the kids a wind up toy that kind of moves around. And the kids think these are so awesome. And then also super nice of her to give us something to do. She bought the boys this cookie making kit. I guess it already comes with the cookies and then it includes icing sprinkles and sanding sugar to decorate. So that's what we're gonna do tonight after nap time. We are gonna, sorry, excuse Avery coughing in the background. She got the boys cold. We're gonna do some Halloween cookie decorating like how fitting on October 1st. Um, so I'm feeling like a better mom. Thank you, Grams, for coming in clutch and getting the boys some Halloween um, decorations. She also got some more pumpkins to put around the house. So um, the boys are super pumped about all the Halloween stuff. I just love their enthusiasm. I know they're not always going to be like this into it um, the older they get. So it's fun to like capitalize on it and... Um, see them excited and it's fun that we get to decorate some cookies give us something to do today while 
Anthony is away all day. So I guess I will have stuff to record about today because I will record us um, decorating cookies, which could turn into a disaster, but because it's so nice outside, maybe we will decorate the cookies outside. We have a table outside. We actually have a little picnic, a kid's picnic table. So I think that's what we'll do is we will decorate outside so the mess is contained. So I will definitely pull out the camera as we do that. Happy um, Halloween, happy Halloween, I guess it's not Halloween. Happy October 1st to all. I am in denial that it's October. You guys, I hate winter. I love fall, but I hate that winter follows fall and I hate the holidays because it's just a little stressful hosting and um, going back and forth between families, trying to fit both families in. And so I am in full denial that it is getting to that be that part of the year. So even though it's October 1st and the trees are already changing color, I am in denial and I think it's still summer. I mean, hey, we're in shorts today because it's going to be a high of 82. But anyway, I'm still going to be able to get out of the house for a little bit, get all this um, Halloween, October stuff started. I already decorated the house for fall. I started like last month doing that. So that's all good to go. And now we get to decorate some cookies. So I'm super excited. Very interested to see like how these cookies will taste because like they're already pre-made. So are these going to be good cookies or not? We will find out. But um, let me know if you have any traditions you do with your kids throughout October. Um, I guess October 1st is kind of like a big deal nowadays. So did you know about this or is this a surprise to you too? Let me know. All right, ignore Porter's ketchup all over. This is Porter's first experience with cotton candy. Go ahead and eat it. Ooh, what do you think? Good. Is it good? Hey. Do you like it? Hey, mommy. Mommy. Do you like it? Yeah. Oh. Wahoo. 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 Grayson's ready to go trick or treating. Hey, mom. Mm. All no. right. So, after the boys and cleaned up a little I, bit and it's after nap time, I'm clean. they've been holding and carrying this okay. box of cookies around I'm, everywhere I'm they go. And I finally said that we could do. I'm cookies. Porter, can you do a different color now? Oh, good sharing. I want to do yellow. Okay, here, let's put the black one up here. So I finally opened it up and now we are doing some cookie decorating. We've got Monster Frankenstein and we've got some cats, witch, and pumpkin. The boys are loving it. Grayson's trying to go off of what he sees here. And Porter's just going crazy with it. And it's perfect. It's such a beautiful day outside. So we are decorating hey, on this picnic help. table, which is super fun. Mm. Look. And then we've also got some sprinkles here and some sanding sugar. Never heard of that, which hey, we will help. use at the end. Uh, that's where it'll get messy is the sprinkles. The boys are loving it. It's a good activity. Mommy! Do you need some help? Yeah, I need some help. Okay. She does not want to wake up. She's so tired, but I have to wake her up at 6. You both can do it, okay? Oh! Ah, dooting! This boys love to make fart sounds on Avery's tummy. And she just lays there like, I don't really know what's going on. <laughs> Avery, did some loud toots! Ah, dooting! Avery! Yeah, I guess you taught him how to do this. That would be their dad. <laughs> so the cookies were a hit. The boys mostly just licked the icing off of their cookies. 
Um, they didn't even decorate all of them, then they kind of got over it. But it was a great, like, half hour activity for them, which is all I can hope for at this age. I, do the I see that. And we had some pizza for dinner, and now we're going to go do bath. I just gave Avery a bath. I'm letting her helmet um, dry after disinfecting it a little. And now we're going to do bath for the boys and then bedtime. So I haven't heard from Anthony. I think he's still at the Renaissance Festival, but it ends in 15 minutes at seven. So they will be on their way home soon. And it's about an hour away, an hour and 10 minutes away. It's like in between here and Dayton. Yeah, he'll be here probably after the kids go to bed. Unfortunately, I was hoping he would come home early enough to help me with bedtime, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. So I'm on my own, but that's all right. I've done this before. So here we go. Let's go take a bath. Who wants to go take a bath? Poopy, poopy, poopy. You ready to give the boys a bath? Poopy, poopy, poopy. Let's go give them a bath. Poopy, poopy, poopy. I don't know if I've gotten this on camera for you guys, but this is Avery's favorite thing to do is she loves tummy time now. And she does what I call her skydiving pose where she lifts all four limbs up like that. <laughs> And I think she looks like she's skydiving. And this is usually what my babies do right before they get ready to crawl. So crawling should be happening soon, which is going to make my life very hard, especially like during bath time, because usually I just lie her here and I go do um, hair washing for the boys. And so I can keep an eye on her. But when she starts moving, either we're going to have to put like a gate right here so she doesn't tumble down the stairs or I have to like close the door and put her in her room for like two minutes while I wash hair. I don't know what we're going to do. But yes, this is skydiving Avery. <gasps> go Avery, go Avery, go. <gasps> Are you going to crawl? I got some toys out here for her. But to try to entice her to go, but she hasn't quite figured it out yet. I have her helmet. I don't know if you guys can see. Might be hard. For some reason, it doesn't like to focus on this. But the helmet is starting to get a little discolored. It's just normal. It's just because she's been using it a lot. You can see, like, the part that they shaved right here is a lot brighter and whiter than the spot right here. So... They said it's good. I mean, she's wearing it, so... And it is kind of smelling a little bit. I do clean it with isopropyl alcohol, but I've been told to let it lay in the sun, and that'll make the smell go away, so that's what I need to do. Hi. Like, hello. You're just so happy. You're just so happy. I think I'm going to close out this vlog. I feel like it's plenty long. It's mostly just me talking, so sorry about that. But it is the Shannon Denzel channel, so you get what you get. Um, I finally heard from Anthony. He is on the way home, so he'll be here in about an hour. Unfortunately, like I said earlier, he's going to miss bedtime, which I'm sure he's not sad about that. So I've got to get all the kids in bed and then order groceries. That's usually what I do on Sunday nights is I order groceries and I need to shower. So that's on my agenda tonight. Very exciting. But I survived um, a day without Anthony. Unfortunately, next weekend, he's going um, up to Toledo to go help his dad. His dad's building a garage. So he's going to be gone all day next Sunday, too. So it's going to be another day that I'm going to have to survive. I used to be able to have my sister Allison come over on days like this, and she would help me entertain the kids, and we would go on fun adventures. But my sister, as you all know, just had her baby, and that just isn't happening anymore, unfortunately. She's busy doing her own thing. Her baby is a preemie, so she doesn't really want to take her anywhere. I don't blame her. She's still recovering from birth. I don't blame her. It just stinks for me because I'm just on my own. So hopefully it gets better um, as her baby gets older. Maybe she can venture out of the house and come back over here. We could go over there, but... 
Yeah, as of now, it's just me and the kids. So thankfully, it's just one day at a time. Back when Anthony worked at his old job at Honda, he would be gone for um, days at a time, whole weekends. I have to remember back to that time and think that this is much easier than that. But it's still hard doing three kids by myself for a whole day. That is for sure. But I survived. Well, I'm almost survived. The kids are using a fish fishing pole to fish out toilet water. So I'm barely surviving, but I think I made it through the day. So thanks for hanging out with me. I uh, hope you all are having a awesome October. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Say bye, Avery Breen. Say bye. Bye-bye.